Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and today I'm coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle. I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely gorgeous and super rare 1965 Chevrolet C10 Crew Cab Custom Pickup Truck that's packing an LSX 454 V8 engine that's pushing 620 horsepower. You've got to check this out. To start off this uh, video here, this is a non-rehearsed video. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of information that I do forget, so please make sure to check out our website at msclassiccars.com for a full description with a ton of highly detailed photos. If you have or haven't been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. We're very proud to say that we're the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything that we sell and we document that work with an invoice. When we're done in the service department, we detail these vehicles to the highest level, starting from the bottom and working our way right to the top. So please do your homework on MS Classic Cars. And again, check out our website at msclassiccars.com to see everything about this particular vehicle I'm showing you here today. So I'm gonna start off uh, this presentation by saying, uh, this is kind of the long paragraph that I have composed that tells a lot of information about this truck. Again, you can find this on our website. I am going to go ahead and just read some of this, and then I'll kind of interrupt myself throughout the process just to show you a few things. I can tell you that in all of the years uh, that I've been collecting cars, I probably would say right now we're hovering around that 800 uh, collector car mark. Uh, that we've had and that we've sold. Um, I have never owned anything like this truck that I'm sitting in here today. Matter of fact, I've never even seen one. I've seen a few crew cabs that were customized, um, but nothing that was done back in 1965 like this truck was uh, here today. So I am super, super proud uh, to present this. So we'll go ahead and kick it off by saying that this is referred to as the hot hauler. I think you can figure out why. It's one of few authentic C10 Stageway coaches crew cabs known to exist. This truck has received a substantial amount of press and was featured on Velocity TV and it was featured in multiple magazines including LMC Truck, Street Steen, and Classic Trucks. It was also featured online by Hot Rod and Motor Trend. It's been a participant of many well-known car shows where it's achieved multiple awards, including Good Guys, uh, Chevy Truck Pick, Good Guys, Hot Hauler Pick, uh, Summit, Lone Star Nationals, LMC, uh, Chevy Truck Pick, Heartland Nationals, LMC, Chevy uh, Truck Pick, Rock Auto Company Restored Award, NSRA, Oklahoma Street Rod National Safety Pick, and SRA Springfield Nationals Street Scene Pick. This is uh, Dallas Modeway Speedway C10 Nationals, 
Best Engineered Award in Dino's uh, Get Down Street Trucks Magazine Top 20. The two good guys awards and the three magazines are included. So let me show you those now. We are a member uh, MS Classic Cars of Good Guys. I've been a member of them for a long time. Um, this truck has really, as I just rattled off, has been on the show circuit. Uh, these are just a few of the Good Guys awards that are included here. You can actually see these uh, in our photo gallery. So they're really cool. Again, I have a brand new Tupperware container to put everything in. Um, we also have all of those magazines that I just rattled off here. We got the street scenes. We got another street scenes here, uh, LMC truck for anybody who doesn't know, uh, this is a really big company in the truck market. We've got these here. This was a covered featured truck. And then of course, classic trucks. Uh, this is also a really cool magazine as well. So again, all that is included in the brand new Tupperware container. So uh, getting into uh, some of the details here. In the 1960s, Chevrolet dealers could commission these conversions from coach companies. In this case, it was Stageway Coaches, uh, which was located in Fort Smith, uh, Arkansas, as documented with the original manufacturer's uh, certification certificate. It was commissioned by A&B Sales Chevrolet, located in Redfield, South Dakota, as documented on the original bill of sale. The charge for this special Stageway six-man cab with the freight was a total of $1,257.18. The conversion included two rear doors that were built to match the factory front doors, partially extending the chassis and shortening the rear bed. So again, really cool. Here's where it gets interesting with this truck. This is the brand new binder uh, that I've provided as I do with every vehicle that we sell. We have the original bill of sale from the dealership when this truck was brand new. Again, to find an original bill of sale from 1965 is a treat in itself. I just mentioned the manuscript uh, certification here. This is basically that. You can see this in our photo gallery. This is also super rare to have. Um, again, we've got more information here. Uh, original title. Uh, we've got South Dakota registrations. We've got some more awards, owner's manuals, protector plate. Even getting the protector plate from a vehicle from 1965 is rare, especially a pickup truck. Uh, so again, all that information is included. And again, you can see it in our photo gallery. So here's kind of the story of what this truck was uh, back in the day and who it was purchased. It was sold to Dr. Myron uh, Farinwald, who lived in Redfield, Arkansas on March 31st, 1965. Myron used the truck for hunting until he sold it three years later to Carl Sanday Jr., who lived also in Redfield, South Dakota. Carl used the truck for his painting business and kept it for the next 40 years before selling it to Roger and Tammy Gleaves in 2007. So that title that I showed you, it documents that, the bill of sale documents everything. This is a truck that has very limited uh, ownership history, which makes it even cooler. Um, it was the product of a complete restoration, which was started in 2010 and completed in 2017. Roger collaborated with Kingmig Body Shop for the entire build. The vision of the build was to keep the original appearance with the modern upgrades. Most of the exterior sheet metal was replaced new. GM late model pickup uh, uh, hidden hinges were added to the rear doors to give it a really smooth look. The body is laser straight with excellent gaps. I cannot tell you enough Photos do this vehicle absolutely no justice. The bodywork in paint is exceptional. It is gorgeous. When we put the vehicle through our service department, the guys did a really good job of tweaking all the doors, getting them to close really nice. Again, you'll see that on our service uh, invoice. Um, the color is absolutely spectacular. It's an error correct color. It's Corvette Rally Red in Ford Wimbledon White. So we got the white here. We got the red on the rest of it. It is a killer choice as far as colors go. The LMC truck reproduction rear bed was dressed with custom burled black walnut floor. This is one of the nicest beds that we've ever seen in a pickup truck. Uh, Roger was telling me that um, Chip Foose had actually seen it uh, at a car show. 
and uh, was really blown away by the truck and made a comment on how beautiful the rear bed was done. Um, we are actually friends uh, with Noah Alexander at uh, Classic Car Studio. He had the TV show Speed is the New Black. Uh, Roger actually lived close to Noah. Noah said that he saw this truck at multiple good guy shows and he spent literally like an hour just climbing all around it and couldn't believe how special it was. So again, when you see this truck in person, it is truly mind blowing. Now, uh, the truck sits on custom 20 inch shot Americana concave wheels that are wrapped with BF Goodridge G-Force tires. Uh, these are the perfect wheel and tire, in my opinion, for this truck. They just kind of fit it like a glove and look really, really good. Um, just can't say enough about the outside of it. Again, everything is brand new. All the glass is new, all the stainless is new, these chrome mirrors, the grill, the lights, the emblems, everything about the truck is brand new on the exterior. When we make our way to the interior, um, some of the custom features include the I did it tilt steering column. Um, it does have mid 60s Corvette front seats and it has vintage air conditioning. So this is kind of like a, a fawn uh, color here. This is really cool how the, the roof is actually uh, metal. There is no headliner in these trucks. The sun visors match perfectly. The dash is kind of more of like a chocolate brown color. It's absolutely beautiful. What I love about this truck is when you're sitting in it, it feels like you're sitting in a truck from 1965. Again, Roger didn't go too custom with the interior. So I would say that most of this interior looks factory correct with the exception of the few things that I mentioned. Um, but it is really sweet, super comfortable. What's really nice about it is you got these two bucket seats, this huge counter, uh, center console that has uh, two cup holders. It's got a spot to put your cell phones, uh, just a lot of area here. It's got a storage compartment. And again, you'll see all this in our photo gallery, but I just want to make a comment about it. I'm six foot, 200 pounds. I have tons of room in here. The passenger has tons of room. And then of course, we talk about the back seats. There's a lot of space back there. So think about how many vehicles in the classic car world, uh, can, whether you have a pickup truck or whether you have a classic vehicle where you can put people in the back comfortably. When you get into these, you know, these Camaros and Chevelles and Mustangs and Corvettes and things like this, you're very limited to space. Even when you buy a pickup truck, like a C10 from 1965, you only have just the option of a few passengers. But what's so cool about this, you can get your whole family together, get all your friends together, sit in this thing comfortably, and just cruise the open road. Again, it is awesome. Now, getting into the engine compartment. Um, as I had mentioned in, earlier in the video, this is where this truck really gets sexy. In my opinion, uh, if I was at a car show, I saw the outside and saw the inside and I hadn't made my way to the engine compartment, I'd ask the owner, what's it packing under the hood? Please tell me it's got something mean. This is an unbelievable engine. For anybody who knows LS engines, the LSX is no joke. This motor here, it's a 454. Uh, it's a GM Performance thing. That's where Roger got it from, direct from GM, GM Performance. My uh, service manager indicated it actually has 627 horsepower. I think we labeled it in our description with 620, but it is an awesome modern drivetrain. And let me tell you something, it runs beautiful. You're gonna hear it in a second. So um, the air cleaner is actually from a 2015 Camaro Z28 that feeds the LS7 uh, Corvette electronic fuel injection. The engine actually breathes out of a custom three inch exhaust with Flowmaster mufflers. The two piece drive shaft connects the 4L85E automatic transmission. This is a great transmission that again was ordered brand new out of a box. They paired the two together during the restoration, came out stunning and it has the original 3.42 geared GM 12 bolt uh, rear end with Eaton limited slip differential. So again, I uh, can't say enough about it. We've got power steering. Uh, we've got uh, a really detailed engine compartment. You'll see how nicely everything fits in there. Again, it's not too overdone when you open up the hood. Kind of looks like it would have been if the manufacturer had actually made it. 
When we get our way uh, to the underneath of this vehicle, you will clearly see in all of our photos how nice the undercarriage is. Uh, when Roger was doing the restoration, he did not want to make the undercarriage so perfect like the outside where he couldn't drive it. He did want to drive the vehicle, which he did, as indicated in all those magazines and all those car shows. Matter of fact, it has just a little over a thousand miles on the entire restoration. So the underneath of it was done in kind of like a rhino liner material on the bottom side, which is red. Uh, again, you can see all those photos. The frame was painted black. Um, it was outfitted with a Rock Valley 18 gallon fuel tank. It does have classic performance suspension and it does have bare four wheel disc brakes. Bare brakes are awesome brakes. It's got huge uh, uh, rotors in the front. You can see them clearly through those front wheels. It's got really good size uh, rotors in the back. Uh, again, Bear is just a great name in the business, and that was a great choice to stop this uh, monster when you're traveling down the street. And you will notice in the engine compartment, it even has a Bear master brake cylinder as well. Um, so again, all the original documentation, the owner's manual, the protector plate, the bill of sale, the manufacturer's uh, certification certificate, the title from 81, registration from 2006, all of that is included. So that kind of wraps up here my presentation of this truck. I've been super excited uh, to jump in it and uh, go over it here. I'm sure everybody's been anticipating this video, so please uh, stay tuned because I'm going to go ahead and start it and let, listen how beautiful it runs. Uh, before I do so, I would ask if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do so. We have thousands of people that are on that list. It's the best way to stay in contact with MS Classic Cars and follow everything that we're doing. We would also ask to please follow us on all of our social media networks. Uh, again, I'll say it over and over that MS Classic Cars is not a huge company, but we are doing huge things. Please do your homework on us. Check us out. We appreciate you watching this video. It's time to rock and roll. Here we go. Let's start this baby up. There it is. You can't make it up. She's ready to hit the pavement. We appreciate you watching. Thank you.